Hi everybody, it's Fussy Baby Boy, and today's going to be an overview slash review of the Rears Alpaca Waterproof Diaper Wrap slash Adult Diaper Cover. First thing, if you notice, I'm in a full-on dress today with a petticoat and the puff sleeves and everything. And I know most of you have not seen me like this before, but it's kind of a new thing for me and I really like the way it makes me feel and I feel really cute and pretty in it. So you're probably going to be seeing more dresses um, as I continue on with this. So I just wanted to address the dress. So at any rate, In Control and Rears are the same company. In Control makes the more medical line or medical marketed diapers and Rears makes the more printed fun diapers we're aware of. I'm a pretty big fan of their disposable products. In my regular rotation is the Rears Inspire Original diaper which is sort of the second up from the bottom in their line and the Rears, I'm sorry, the In Control Hybrid Elite, which is their hook and loop style disposable diaper and is very absorbent. This is an all white or mostly white equivalent to the Rears Barnyard. In Control, Original Inspire, I don't know what Rears diaper this is equivalent to. And In Control, Hybrid Elite, same thing as a Rears Barnyard. But my absolute super favorite of all time, and somebody, if you want to try to beat them out, I'll, I'll, I'll take a sample and review it, but is the Rears Alpaca diaper. I just love this diaper. It's very comfy, it's super absorbent, and the pattern, oh, it's just adorable with all the little alpacas on it. So that's not a review of these, but I do recommend these products, and I'll probably be reviewing them all three down the road. But my love for the Rears Alpaca sort of inspired me to try out this Rears Alpaca diaper wrap slash cover because I do like the cute pattern quite a bit and I wanted to have that pattern for use with other things and with my cloth diapers. So, ooh, a little thirsty. To begin, let's see what Rears themselves has to say about the product. Now, I'm reading it off of CushyTushies.com, which is Rears and In Control's U.S. distributor of sorts. I'm not certain if it's exactly the same company. However, the website's laid out in a very similar manner. They use the same style of shopping cart, so they may actually be... Um, under Rears and In Control, but this is who I usually order from in the U.S. if I'm buying Rears. If I'm ordering In Control, I go straight to In Control and buy from them. So the product description is as follows, and do not adjust your sets. I'm going into my voice over voice to read the product overview. <coughs> <coughs> Finally, a Velcro adult diaper. The cover has an adjustable rise and waist so you can get the perfect fit. That's really bad copy. The diaper cover features our alpaca characters. These, these covers feature an inner gusset to use with stuffers and a full width crotch and leg gussets to accommodate full cut diapers as well. These can also be used with disposable booster pads for a hybrid adult diapering experience that is more environmentally friendly. Waterproof outer shell and fold back laundry tabs make for easy care. One size design can be adjusted to fit waist sizes from 26 inches to 42 inches. So let's see how true that holds. Finally, a Velcro adult diaper cover. Well, there have been Velcro covers around for a little while, but indeed, there is a hook and loop fastening system that goes across the entire waist area, and additionally, there are laundry tabs so that you can fold in the hook part 
so that it doesn't capture additional lint and whatnot while laundering. This is not that uncommon of a design. I've seen other brands with very similar layouts to these. But yes, that holds true. It does have this Velcro adjustment system. Do do do. Cover features an inner gusset to use with stuffers and a full width crotch and leg gussets. So this is the gusset they're speaking of to use with a liner. So if you have absorbent flow through style pads or perhaps something like the Abina pads, which are sort of like a diaper without fasteners, you could insert one in this and this use this product to hold it all together. And a full width crotch to accommodate bulky diapers. Well, let's get a bulky diaper out. And I have used these with cloth diapers. I've tried them out with them. So this is a fairly bulky cotton pin diaper with an insert for nighttime use as well. And it will fit inside the rears pretty well. Let's Velcro it up. Let's see what happens. Juke. Juke. So the crotch definitely does accommodate it. And that's my leg here and it will cover it up. We can get these leg gathers, leak guards up over the cotton area as well. So it will provide that coverage going over. That does hold true. Now it gets into this full adjustability and I've seen this whew, a little sweaty because I turned the air conditioner off for sound. There's snaps along the front, the theory being you can adjust for size additionally by gathering up a certain amount of the material with the snaps. Now, you might think that's a good idea for this one size fits all scenario. I found that does not function very well at all. Once you have the full bulk of a full size diaper in here and your movements are then exaggerated again through the width of the material as you're moving it doesn't take much to sort of unsnap them with movement that has any sort of you know real power behind it so typical walking and moving around and stretching and lifting and you know wide range of movement it's going to cause these snaps to unsnap especially if you're wearing something bulky underneath of it. So the sizing adjustment that's supposedly accommodated by these snaps I don't think can be relied upon. And because of that once you have this if you're trying to get this cover tight enough to really seal things off if you can't adjust for that rise in this area and gather that additional material up, the leg gathers or leak guard portion is not going to fit snugly around your inner thigh and seal you off. So from that standpoint some protection is lost again because this universal size adjustment is not reliable. I've seen this system on other covers as well and the snaps used seem like quality snaps. It's not an issue with those. It's just <clears throat> in practice I don't think it works that well. So if you're absolutely reliant upon this snap size adjustment I don't think this is going to work out for you in that manner. It's just going to be sort of a cute cover to put over your diapers but as a fully reliable waterproof barrier it may fail you in the leak gusset and I've had that experience with these I have used that use these with this exact diaper here and while <clears throat> I have gotten some seepage from it because of that because I cannot gather up the material reliably for the one size fits all benefit 
The other fitment issue I have with these, and this style of cover in general, is this very wide Velcro strap. Now, we have the wide width hook and loop faster. I said Velcro, hook and loop, generic hook and loop. And yes, that's going to provide strength because we have more surface area for the hook to contact the loop and therefore a fairly strong bond. But this material, especially on the hook portion, has sharp edges because it's stiff. It needs to be stiff to function. And when you have it tight enough to stay up on you, it's also rigid enough that as you bend and flex forward, this portion will dig into your skin. So I've been caught by this several times where I've been poked and prodded by the hook portion. So there is a comfort issue there. Not only in that you have to have this fairly tight and fairly tight with a wide band. So it's like wearing a very thick belt um, pressing into you, which is uncomfortable. And then the hook and loop, pa the hook patch of the hook and loop itself is sharp and stiff and will go into your skin um, with certain movements. So if you're trying to wear this for the purpose of security and really preventing leaks, you're going to get it so tight that I don't think it's going to be a comfortable experience. If you're wearing this casually, and again just a sort of a colorful cover, I think it might work out for you. I'm not that fond of the fit and and honestly I'm not that fond of the look also because once we have bulk under here and this is pressed deeply into you you have this odd belted looking aesthetic to it and it doesn't have quite that cute feel now that's a very subjective observation but I, I do not like the profile once they're on you know I'm not I'm not attracted to it so I think it's more of a play pant situation but even in a play pants situation, there's another caveat. Again, with this universal adjustment system of the snaps, though they're coated, you still have metal snaps on the front of this diaper. And while they won't cut you without some very severe pressure, they're not they're not comfy. They are sharp. So this metal material is going to make contact with whatever pant or dress or whatever you're wearing under it. So there is a wear and tear issue for whatever other fabric this is coming into contact with. The other issue with these snaps on the front, if you are wearing this pant intimately or cuddling with it, your partner in crime is going to feel that that's going to dig into their skin so casual solo pant is the verdict on these um, I don't trust them as a waterproof layer really um, as an additional barrier on a disposal on a disposable worn casually they should work out for you pretty well but as you know, bulletproof reliability for leak protection, or as a play pant with, say, a partner, these snaps are gonna... Mm, no, that situation's not gonna work out. So, it's a casual item. It's a casual play pant is my verdict to this. Though, it's constructed fairly well. It's not the best I've seen. And it does have the TPU, the, the polyurethane laminate layer to it. And it does have, in theory, adjustability. I don't think the adjustability is pragmatic. I don't think the adjustability is comfortable. And one of the adjustable mechanisms... Eh, I'm not going to say that it can hurt you, but I'm going to definitely say 
it will cause discomfort in certain scenarios. Uh, so, it's not a recommendation. And that's unfortunate, because again, I'm pretty fond of In Control, and I'm very fond of Rear's Alpaca, but this, this diaper wrap and cover, not so much. At least, definitely not with full-on cotton diapers. Perhaps with a pad system, it could work out better for you, but I think some of the same problems will still arise. There's also an alternate to this product on rears, and the main thing that differs with these is the prints. So it's the diaper wrap slash diaper cover. They're all going to be the same. The only thing that changes is the print, really. So you'll have the barnyard version, there's an alpaca version, etc. There's also the swim diaper variant. And the swim diaper variant seems to be constructed exactly the same. The only aesthetic difference is the, the lack of contrast colored piping, which actually I prefer. I think this is cuter. And actually, this will go very good with my current outfit. But the one additional feature it has is that there's a built-in layer of absorbency in the swim diaper version. So, if you still want to get this product, and I'm not saying don't buy it, I'm just saying I don't recommend it. If you're still going to do it, I would jump up the few dollars more. I believe this is $23 currently for the diaper wrap and $29 for the swim diaper version. I would spend the few extra dollars and get the swim diaper version and at least gain that one advantage of the absorbency layer on it. So, the verdict on the, <laughs> the rear's diaper wrap slash adult diaper cover is I do not recommend, but I'm not saying don't buy it. It might appeal to you for certain reasons. You may also already have experience with this type of thick fastening system. It doesn't bother you. Maybe it fits your body better. And if you want that rear's cuteness, go for it. Get it. And, and have a good time with it. But I don't recommend it as a waterproof barrier. It's more of a fun pant. Um, I'm not going to attest to the swim diaper as a swim diaper. But again, with the fitment issue, I'm not sure how it would work out if you're like maybe in a pool or pool side in the ocean. Eee! You might have a few surprises. But I'm only talking about it as a diaper cover with an additional absorbent layer. And the verdict's the same. I don't recommend to buy. But I'm not going to dissuade you if there's an appeal to you. And they are cute. I mean, they're adorable. But there it is. So I hope that wasn't one of my typical ramblings and there was some information for you. But this product, kind of a thumbs down from me. But I like them. You know, they're a fun part of my collection. I'm not returning them. But I'm not suggesting you buy them either. But it's also, I'm not saying anything bad about rears or in control either. I really like their disposable products. And uh, I'm going to continue to buy those. So I'm not saying anything bad about the company. Just this particular product. Eh, uh, matzah, matzah. So <laughs> there we go. It's really late. If I'm rambling too much, let me know that in the comments. Do I ramble too much? Do you like hearing me ramble? Is it natural? Is it awful? Not that I'm self-conscious at all. Hmm. At any rate. Okay. I hope you all enjoyed that. Thank you all for watching. If you liked it, hit like. If you want to see more from me, hit subscribe. And thank you all again. Good night. Good morning. Goodbye.